Okay, testing, one, two, three. Bear with me for a quick second. Please tell me if this is better because I am only looking at myself in my phone screen and I can't tell if this is making me too orange or if like this is washing me out. I am still trying to figure out the lighting for my channel. This is not the best way to start a video, but I'm once I get this arranged, then we can go. This is like really, this is as far as the light will go in the cold feature, cold setting, cold lighting. And then we go the other way. Whoa, it's like Sun City Orange. But that's like too much, right? That's too much. Like there? 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 No, that's too much. I think that's okay. See, it's hard to tell because I just got some... My hair dyed on Friday, so it's very orangey red. So I don't know if that's what's making, making me look washed out or I'm just... It's been that long since I've done a video, so we'll see. I'm going to have to pause this in a second because I was in the middle of texting my husband. and Which was actually kind of nice because I know that I've wanted to do this video for a while, but I haven't um, felt like doing videos, and I'm honestly feeling irritable today. I don't exactly know why, and so it was actually kind of nice. I was texting Josh, and I was starting to actually feel better, <laughs> so like our having our little conversation was actually helping me feel better, but I wouldn't quite finish texting, so I might quit. In the middle of this, there might be some editing where I'm stopping and texting him back, but I actually feel better. I'm in a better frame of mind, and I... I got some really cool stuff. I, it feels like a big pile to me, but I'm not sure if it's that big of a pile altogether, but it might be. But I went to the flea market on Wednesday, which was last week, and then I also went to a different one on Saturday, which is a little bit closer to me, and I got some good stuff. And I'll be honest, I haven't really... Oh, there's Josh. He's texting me. I'll have to text him back in a second. Um, but I have not been feeling like filming in stores. Like a week or so ago, I did a bunch of them, I felt like. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't feel like it at all. I don't feel like filming. I want to do this channel. Like, I want to commit to it and continue to do it. But I don't always feel like when I'm at a flea market or a thrift store, I don't, lately I've not felt like it. And sometimes I just don't feel like it. Sometimes you got to do things if you don't feel like it. You know, if you want to do a job or you want to do something, you got to commit. And sometimes you don't feel like it. Um, so that's just life. But with this, I'm just like, you know what? This is more of a creative thing. If I force myself too much to do something, I don't feel like it. It might take some of the joy out of it. So anyway, but this video is literally just going to be stuff that I got from the two different flea markets. Josh and I went to an antique shop on Saturday. Um, the kids are out at an event, so just the two of us. So he got a couple cool things, and I got his permission to show these. And then I got some things at a silent auction. And then randomly, I got a couple things at Walmart that I want to show you as well. So it's, it's a kind of hit or like a little bit of everything. So just sit back, get some tea, get some wine, get soda, whatever, get comfy. Cause I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. So I'm going to quick text Josh, Josh back. So one second. Okay. Okay. I didn't put my phone back on the thingy. So I might have to text Josh back again, but that's okay. I can pause and do that. So no biggie. But, um, yeah, we were talking back and forth cause he said about his neck was hurting mine's hurting too. Why is my phone got this weird thing on it? It's got this like, I don't know. It's got this like little circle with a lock picture. I don't know, whatever. But he's saying his neck was hurting. Now, oh, years ago, we were in a car wreck back when we were early married and that's messed up his neck ever since. He actually had an x-ray done a couple years back and they're like, did you break your neck? And he's like, it's like, not that I know of. So he, they did the, the math and basically when we had that car wreck years ago, he must get the tiniest little hairline fracture and, um, Basically, his neck got slightly... It healed on its own. It's it's fine, thank God. But it, it bugs him like very often. It's it's so past... It's so many years later. It's nothing we can really do about... We can't do anything about it now. But the poor guy just suffers with that. But my neck is also hurt. Honestly, my neck is hurting too. What I'm trying to say is because this weekend, we were um, clearing up a lot of old trees in our property. So Josh cut down like three or four of them. And we were like with our kids like doing a lot of cleanup this weekend. So I know my neck is so stiff. Maybe partially why I'm irritable. I just, I just, I'm uncomfortable. I was trying to blow dry my hair today and just doing that was making my neck hurt and I was feeling lightheaded. But anyway, be that as it may. So anywho, let's go ahead and get into the stuff that I got. I'm really excited to show you because it's some really fun stuff. And I got some really good deals. It was a kind of the past two flea markets. The deals that I got were the things that I got like digging through boxes and stuff. So they're little piles, but these are places where, you know, the more you buy, the more you get. Because I think the people who have all the boxes just want to clear things out. So, anyway, the first thing I got at the flea market on Wednesday, not that it matters when I got it, but it helps me keep track of all my stuff. So, 
Um, I got these really cool lucite, lucite or acrylic, I think it's the same thing, vintage candlesticks, the gold flag. I got these three for a dollar. The lady who ran the stand wasn't there, and I guess her friend in the next stand over was, was asking me if I needed help, and I was just wondering how much these were. I, I only, <laughs> spit it out, I've only recently become aware of their existence, and um, I think from watching other YouTubers and their thrifting. And I'm like, oh, these are cool. I actually have a, a plastic candlestick stand I got a while back. It might have been in one of my other videos. But I was like thinking it would be really cool to get one of these to put in there. Because I don't light tapers. Like I don't use the long candlesticks. I buy like the chunky ones have, like, that smell really good. So these are like, the gold fleck ones. I don't know if you can see. Is it going to focus? Sort of. Look at the ends. I have these weird fuzzy stuff on them. Why are you not focusing? Oh, maybe that's why the lock thing is on my screen. I'm going to stop this and try and clear my screen because I think that's why it's not focusing. One second. Okay, I got rid of the lock thing, so maybe that's why I wasn't focusing. I have no idea what that was. Focus. There we go. Now it's focusing. See all the gold flecks. And see on the bottom it has this. That's what makes me think it's old because look at the bottom. So those were cool. Happy about that. Three for a dollar is really good because on eBay I think they go for like a cup, like a pair will go for roughly $15. So not too shabby. I'm um, going out of order here. I'm going to quick show you this. I'm so excited about this. I got a Fenton Uranium Fairy Lamp. I've already been using it, as you can see. But this actually glows under UV light, which if you know Uranium Glass, you're already familiar with that. But for those who are new to the class, I actually went to Hobby, or not Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, <laughs> got a UV light. So you can see if it glows. And I'm just going to show. You see that glows? That's showing. There it goes, it's kind of showing, it's glowing. Take it out. So that's kind of cool. So I got that for $20, which I think, at the time I thought it was a really, really good deal, and it is, but they only go for about double that on eBay. It does have a couple chips on the top, if you can see those. I didn't like the top very bottom. You can kind of see it right in there. But I don't care, it's fine. It does say Fenton on the bottom, it's really hard to see. In fact, I'm not even going to bother showing you, you just kind of take my word for it. But really happy about that. Oh, there's Josh, I should text him back real quick. One second, folks. One second. Okay. I'm back. I have to keep putting my phone back, so who knows, as this video goes on, the view behind me is probably like, shuffling all around. I'm trying to make sure that it's, I'm like centered. Okay. So, oh, look, my flesh. Oh, it looks so cool. I really should show the, one second. Let me quick show you this. See, this is really, you can see how glowy it is. Ignore the fuzzies on my carpet. You can really see it glowing here. I think it's more obvious. Anyway. So anyway, yeah, that was all distracted here, but that was a really exciting find, and I felt for twenty dollars it was more than more than fair, and I had some leftover birthday money, so I'm like, happy birthday to me! Alrighty, so the next thing I got at the same on the same day, um, this person had, like several tables set out and all these boxes on the table, which I'm so glad for because I mean I still had to bend down, but if I'm looking and digging through boxes after a while, my neck hurts. Um, just from the constant looking over, I get this strain. It's just so frustrating. So I got five items. It was a dollar per item, so I got five, five things. So the first thing I got was this really cute little, little baby doll. I actually had to look this up because I've never seen anything like it. I believe it's from New Zealand, and it plays. Oh, the word. I'm gonna butcher the word, so I'm just gonna spell it to you, and you can figure out how to how it's pronounced. It's P O, K A R E, K A R E. So it was, should I attempt it? You can laugh at me. Pokara Kara? Pokara Kara? I don't know. But it's like little, like, this little, like, doll baby. She's got her little necklace and just little little headband. This is a doll. Look how cute that is. It actually plays music. It actually works. So it actually plays this cute little song. I don't know what the song is, but... But I thought that was so fun. At first I thought maybe the baby doll was, like, glued on top or something because it wasn't quite centered. I'm like, oh, did someone, like... Take a little music box and just put like a little baby doll on top. But like after some searching, no, this is actually a real thing. Like, and they actually, I think it's actually supposed to have like a little grass skirt dress or something. But it just had the little necklace and stuff. But I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it because I don't collect baby dolls. But I just thought it was adorable. So there's that. I'm just gonna keep playing. This one's done. Okay. Then the next item I got was this really neat teal col colored crackle glass vase pitcher, whatever you wanna call it. I love the color and it doesn't have any chips or anything and it's really pretty. Ah, focus, darn you. I couldn't do it. There we go. Very cool. Very 
Target price. That was a dollar. Then I got a cool little heart tin. I got this more because I figured I can use this for like a gift box later if I get some like a little piece of jewelry. Remove yourself. So it has an old vintagey feel. So I would love to get this with a cute like little necklace in it or like a little ring at the back of it. You can see how worn it. See, I love the worn part of things. And I have to say, I love getting things in perfect condition that are old. I get why people don't want chips or cracks or anything, the scuffs and gl their glassware. I get it. But I'm of the mind where if I get something in perfect condition, the second I ruin it, the second I scratch it, the second I dent it, whatever it may be, I feel like in my head it's ruined. I feel bad. Like it was damaged on my clock. But if I get something that's been well used and shows age, I like it because it's got history. Someone else used it and loved it. I'm like, I'm not going to damage it any further. I mean, I might damage it a little further, but it's already been obviously used. So it doesn't bother me if things are a little worn. So I don't know. That's, I think that's cool. The next item I got was is this 1996 Atlanta Olympics pen, limited edition. The reason I got it is because two reasons. I'm, I like to collect odd pins and clip, stick them on my jean jacket that I have. And also, that was one of the best Olympics, not the best, but one of the best Olympics that I remember watching as a kid because living in Pennsylvania, everything in At Atlanta, was saying it right? Yeah, Atlanta was in our time zone. So we got to watch a lot of it. And we didn't have cable growing up. So we had a lot of local channels playing all that stuff. So it was, it was awesome because we got, to, and my husband was the same way. He lived, I didn't know him at the time. We met in college. But at the time, stink bug on oh my bed. Um, he admitted as well that, because they didn't grow up with cable either, so it was all your local stations, and it was, we got to watch a lot of it. It was a, it was a good year for the Olympics, so anyone in the East Coast time zone. So I got it for that, because it was just cool and fun. Um, and the other item I got was this cute little Holly Hobby key holder. At first I thought it was a wallet, but it actually holds keys. And I was so excited, because when I first opened it at the flea market, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen um, key. That is so exciting. It's not a real key, unfortunately. I was telling my mom about the other day. I'm like, yeah, I got this really cool Holly Hobby key holder wallet thing. And there's a VW key in it. I'm so excited. Because growing up, I loved old VW uh, cars. Like, my dad actually bought a VW Bug when we were kids. He took us to school on that. That was great on wintry mornings because it didn't thaw out. And it was freezing cold. And my brother and I would take turns with our hand on the back windshield defrosting it, you know. So I was like, oh, that is so cool. And then I got it home. I started playing with it. And it's plastic. It's not even real, but that that's okay. It's fine. I only paid a dollar for this. I had Holly Hobby stuff growing up as a kid because, you know, my name being Holly. So I just, it was really good condition. I thought it was cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might end up using it as a key holder uh, down the road when my little keychain that I got, like, from five below breaks because, you know, inevitably it will. So that's kind of cool. The other items I got, oh, these were good too. I got these. I got five of these. Are these for, did I say, oh yeah, these are all a doll, I told you. Um, I got these awesome vintage Christmas tumblers. Focus. These go for a lot of money. These are highly desirable with the Christmas trees. I got them, I got five of them for a dollar each. These, it was another section where this guy had tons and tons of boxes sitting out. And it says, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. The paint is pristine. Look at the paint. Look how shiny that is. Oh, it's in such good condition. I'm not going to pull all five because once you've seen one, you've seen them all. But I did get five. And then I also got an ice bucket. Let's see if I can get this sucker out. That, whoa. Ah! I actually have a uh, set of glasses that match this. I have um, little shot glasses. I have little, like, goblets, I think they are. And I have, like, um, it's kind of like a decanter, but it's got, like, a plastic pump on it. Do you know what that is? Anyway. So I had grabbed this and the five Christmas... Oh. <laughs> five Christmas glasses, and uh, the guy's like, uh, six for all. Like, yes, because I was willing to spend a little bit more, but I'm so glad that he. So I believe this is Col no Reeves. It's got a name on it. I thought it was Culver, but it's not Culver. I should know better. I gotta uh, double research that. But for the ice little ice bucket for a dollar, I'm very happy with that. Very cute. Because the rest of the set I was thinking of selling, you don't need it that much. But now that I have the ice bucket, I feel like I kind of have a full set of stuff. So I kind of want to keep it, but I have to figure out where to store everything. This is the problem when you collect stuff. you got to find space for it, right? Ugh. Anyway, so how it goes. Then you feel bad that you have so much stuff you don't need. You don't use it all. 
I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right, so I'm going to cut. Not break anything, hopefully. I'm going to try and shift some things. Excuse me, getting close. Shifting some things. All right. So Saturday morning, I had to drop the kids off someplace, and then I figured I'd go to the local flea market, walk around. Honestly, it's not always, um, it's not a really big one, and more often than not, I walk through and I don't get a darn thing. But I did find some cool things um, this time around, so I was happy with that. The first thing I bought, I'm so excited about this, um, I have to do a little explanation of why this is such a big deal. Not that it probably matters, but this cool ring, this pink ring with the, the gemstones, can you see it? Like a lucite acrylic ring, it's so cool, I love it. I've been looking for a pink one because, I'm quick to show you, show you my little I have these off to the side. I am getting, I love acrylic rings as a kid, like big plastic chunky rings, I loved them. And I had one exactly like this one, I'm gonna get on here, years ago as a kid, almost exactly. And I don't know what happened to it, I lost it, gave it away or something. And I remember I had one with these colors and the corners were kind of off and smoothed and I just love it. It's so fun. So I found this one on eBay recently, and then I found a bunch more that I liked. So I bought those. Hold on one second. Let me show you. So I got all these. <laughs> I kind of got. I kind of get carried away, but they're so cool. Look at these. I love the colors in them. We got a couple multicolored ones. I love this one. Like these two are my other two favorites. The only problem with these two is I got them from the eBay seller that I got. The eBay seller said they were 7.5, 7.5 size. Um, I'm like, that's perfect. That's roughly my size. I can go a little smaller, but 7.5 is about my ring size here. So I bought them. And I'm so stuck. I was all excited. I, I pulled them out of the back. I got a really good deal on them. They were really cheap. I pulled this one out. I'm like, oh, my word. I love it. I got to put it on my ring finger, right? You put it on. I bought a ring sizer. I don't know where it is temp where it is right now. It's like six. I, I measured it. It's like a six and a half, seven. Actually, not even a seven, because I can actually put a seven on this. It doesn't fit. Same with the green one. I'm so bummed. So I'm going to, I haven't written a review yet for the eBay seller, and I didn't, I thought about contacting them directly, but the reason I didn't is twofold. One, I have no intention of returning them. They're so cool. I can, well, I can wear my my pinky. They're little, they're little big. Sorry, I'm trying to see it without getting myself in the way. It's so cool, and I I barely paid anything. Oh, sorry, I'm spinning. I barely paid anything for them. I got them for a really, really good deal. They're absolutely beautiful. They're pristine. They're crisp. They're like hardly ever used. They're so, so cool. I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I don't want to get my money back. I'm not going to return them because I have to spend for shipping. Spend the shipping to return them. So I decided just to keep them. I haven't yet written a review. I'm going to be honest in my review, but I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be fair um, because I didn't ask, I didn't contact the seller directly, so I don't want to be unkind. But I am going to say, you know, maybe next time actually have a ring sizer, get like a professional one. Just if you're going to be selling jewelry, like it, people expect things to fit or be a certain size when you tell them they're a certain size and these were not. But again, they were such a good deal and I liked them so much. And because I got all those, I've been looking for a pink one because I love and adore pink. So when I found this one for a dollar at the flea market, we were showing a ring, but I was so excited. I wore it for the rest of the, of the day. And if you look up Lucite and acrylic rings, like the vintage ones, they can go for upwards of like 50 to $70 or like five to 15. It depends who's selling them. So considering I got this for a dollar, I'm thrilled. Actually, I don't know where I'm putting that. I'm trying to stay organized here. And then, um, that was at one seller's and the rest of these were at the far end of the pavilion. And this guy had tons and tons of boxes. Like everything was filthy and dirty. Um, but it was great. It was good. <laughs> I don't mind getting a little dirty if I have to dig through boxes for treasures. It's, it's half the fun. The one item I got is this. You see, she works. She only works because I had to buy a battery for her. But I had to clean it up. You can still see it's kind of a little dirty down here. A little bit like in the crevice there. It's, you know, whatever. But finding a vintage Disney watch and Little Mermaid. Really happy with that. So that was exciting. I actually had to look this one up online because I wasn't sure of the exact age. And they actually have one of these because you see where the bubbles go around. Woo! They actually have one where Flounder is in there. And Flounder goes around Ariel. It's so cute. It's so fun. So I actually wore this for a little while. 
for now I'm going to keep it, but I might eventually sell it. I'm not sure yet exactly what I'm going to do with it. The next one, oh, I will say, I'm going to say the price ahead of time because I might forget later. All this stuff I'm about to show you, not the pink ring, that was separate, but everything I got for a dollar, or ten dollars, sorry, not sorry, a dollar would have been better. Um, but this watch and the next few things in this bag, I got for ten dollars, which I think I got like nine items. So it was like a little over a dollar per item, which is not bad. The other item I found was this really cool enamel painted little pitcher, or not pitcher, teapot, excuse me. And it looks like it's got like brass on the edges. And I just loved it. Bottom. I did research this. Josh helped me research it because I couldn't find anything on it. And it's heavy. It's hefty. Um, there is a maker called, I think it's Kelvin Chen. Forgive me if I'm wrong. If I'm going to look it up. When I go to edit this, I'll try and put his name down here. If I'm wrong. If it's Kelvin Chen, I, I won't put it in here. Um, but if I'm incorrect, I will change that. But it's obviously missing this little lid. But all the other ones we found online that looked almost exactly like this in style had markings on the bottom and it said the name. Mine does not. But apparently some don't. But anyway, I thought that was really pretty. Next item I got, this, these are just random little things, bits and pieces, and it's falling apart. But this little old chess piece, which is really cool because I'm going to put this with all my Alice in Wonderland stuff. So I know it's a little bit buggered up. I can get a little closer. It's buggered up, but I think it's going to look cool next to all the Alice stuff. Especially if you've ever read the second Alice in Wonderland book, Through the Looking Glass, the whole book is about her walking across a chessboard. It's like life-size, huge chessboard. It's all chess pieces, and it's cool. And then I got... Why I got this, I don't know, but I think it's a fun tin, and it says the Ritz-Carlton. Some fancy soap. All scratched and buggered up, but... I just thought it was kind of fun. And... <coughs> me i'm all right i'm all right um this is i'm gonna read it first before i show you max factor supreme clown white uh max factor and company hollywood california made in u.s so i guess it was some kind of makeup it's a teeny tiny little tin i just thought it'd be cool to add to our collection we already have so teeny tiny then i got because we collect little tiny liquor bottles. I found this. It said Russian vodka on it. And it's so buggered up. But it's still kind of cool. So we actually have an upper shelf in our one bathroom. Where we've collected all these, these little bottles. we got like a bunch of them. I think we got like almost 50 of these. And they're all different. Like I try not to have anything matching. Like I want all stuff. Oh, let me get closer. Sorry. I keep thinking I'm close. And then I'll go back and edit things. And I realize I didn't get close enough. So I am working on it. So I appreciate your patience. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot about this. This is for something else. Okay, that doesn't belong in there. Next thing I got is at the top of a box. Josh thinks it's from like a playing card box, but it, it reminds me this is obviously the queen because she's got a crown. I don't know if this is supposed to be the king or like the um, uh, the jack. There we go. I'm saying he's the king because I'm thinking queen and king. Again, this is something else I can put with my Alice in Wonderland stuff, but how cool is that? Or, you know, it's like, I was telling Josh, it's like, remember the story of Arthur? Is this like the queen and this is like Lancelot? Is that what it is? I'm saying it's the queen and the king. Because when you play, when you play chess, the queen, I think the king's wearing a crown. But the queen is like, the, has the main crown, so. Yeah, it's fun. And it looks like it's like a leather, I'll show you the inside. It looks like it might be a leather lining, but I'm not sure. You can kind of see the edge there. Anywho. So that's fun, just random bits of these. Now these, I'm saving the best for last, honestly. Um, this is next best to last that I got. This guy's section this really cool tile. I love old tiles. I don't really have any right now, I don't think. But I like this one. It was really pretty. So I'm going to display that somewhere. But this was the, this caught my eyes. The first thing I grabbed and I love it so much. Look at this fantastic tile. Like, this alone should be my thumbnail. Like, that should be the thumbnail. But then, like, people are going to scroll through and, like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know yet what the thumbnail is going to be. The back says Cambridge on it. So, you can see, like, the edges. A little buggered. That's okay, but look at that. Look at the, look at the shine. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, my word, it's so cool. Look at the flowers. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea where I'm going to display this, but I don't care. I'll figure that out later. It's so cool. Okay, um, putting that over there, oh, we've got my little piles over here. 
this is, I totally forgot about this until I found this. Um, after the flea market on Saturday, I quick went to a little antiques shop, walked around, and I actually bought this. It's Humpty Dumpty on a wall. Look cute. It's very cartoonish. But it was $2.99, and then I went to go up and pay for him, and the guy was like, oh, it's Easter, just a dollar. Like, you sure? It's like, yeah. So I guess he thought the egg was like an Easter theme thing. So I asked Josh, I'm like, does it look Easter or does it look Humpty Dumpty? He's like, no, that definitely looks Humpty Dumpty because he's sitting on, it's an egg sitting on a wall. <laughs> but I only, I only got him for a dollar, so I am happy with that. So very cute. Very cute. So I got a couple cool things to put with my Alice in Wonderland collections. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I looked back because I almost forgot about this. So Saturday, later in the day, uh, Josh and I went to a huge antique shop. I really do want to do a video there. Um, I thought about Saturday, but I still was not in the filming mood. And I was hanging out with the hubby, and I'm like, let's just enjoy the day. And I figured it'd be better if I go through this place first, see what's here, and there is some cool stuff there. So I really should go and show you what's there. It's Wheel Antiques in Allentown. I really should go over and show you sometime. Anyway, these are the two, these are the two things that Josh got. Look at this blue bottle. This is still sealed, I think. It looks like it's still like full stuff. But anyway, it says... Echo Hygiene Powder. What I should do. I'm not going to read it out loud, but I'm going to show you the back of it. I'm going to I'm going to pause my phone. And I'm going to film the back of it so you can read what the back of it says. It's actually kind of funny. The things it's used for. But the blue was really cool. Like, I think the blue glass is what pulled Josh in. And I don't blame him. It's really, really beautiful co cobalt blue bottle. I'm going to... What I might just do is do a picture. No, I'll do a video. I'll do a video. One second. Okay, you're welcome to pause at any time, read at your leisure, but it's just kind of funny what they, they use. Just around, so you see the front again. Okay, so anyway, very interesting. <laughs> Actually, I probably should get my phone down because actually something else I want to show you and I would love to film the inside so you can actually read it because if I do it this way, it'll all be backwards. But I'll quick show you here and then I'll do another close-up. This is a Beaches Common Sense Traveler's Expense Book for Monthly Report. Josh has such a good eye for things. This is really, really cool and I'll show you why in just a second here. Okay, one sec. Okay. So this is why Josh liked it, because this is from some gentleman's book from 1951 in April. So at the time of filming this, we're in April, so this is, this is if I did the math right, is exactly 72 years ago. This is his book of everything he wrote down, um, Dinner with the Guests, 780, New York, is it New York, something? Club Car, 680, Gas, Oil, Storage. Streetcar and taxi, it's all his expenses, postage, telegraph. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this as steady as I can, so apologies if it shakes a little. April. I'm not going to show you everything, but this book is pretty well filled out. See his expenses, cigar papers, shoe shine, postcards. And this whole book is just for the month of April. And it's his expenses. Get streetcar and taxi. Uh, isn't that cool? I'll show you a few here real quick. If this bores you, you can go ahead and fast forward. But I think some people might get a kick out of this. How fascinating, right? He got uh, cigar papers just about every day, it looks like. Seventh of April. I'll skip a couple ahead. This is Paul. Is it Palmyra? Interesting. Scar papers again. Streetcar and taxi. Is it mom at the top? Or morning? I mean, it's morning. I don't know. Or Monday. I Maybe mean, it's Monday. Oh, yeah, because he says Sunday at the top, and this is Monday. Okay, okay, that helps. We just see what he did. What's today's date? 15, 16, 17. Today's the 17th. Let's check the 17th real quick and see what he's doing exactly. Where are we here? 13. Oh, went a little too far. Bear with me. Bear with me. 
Yeah, today's the 17th. So exactly 72 years ago today from when I'm filming this. Lunch, guest, oh, I can't read that. It was 110. I can't read that. And then you did the streetcar and taxi for 70 cents. Postage was 24 cents. Telegraph and phones, etc. was 60 cents. And then cigar papers for 90 cents. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Okay, readjusting again here. One second. One second. <laughs> I probably should do this before I'm filming, but you know what? It just makes it way more real. You know, that's what we're going for. Anyway, thank you, Josh, for letting me show this. Um, I figured he wouldn't care, but I did ask him ahead of time. But they're really cool. So we have those displayed in our living room. All right, moving on. So I did the two flea markets, the antique shop, and then I have to do the auction stuff that I got. Okay, so moving on. This is the stuff. I just picked this up today. Actually, I ran over on Friday, and I just, like, on a whim, was going through and bidding on items. And I think I bid on five or six items. I only won three lots. So, but I actually did really well, and you'll see why here in a second. So the first item I won, and no one else had bid on this. Like, I walked through on Friday... Because the auction lasts three weeks, and I went in Friday and ended the day after. So, and no one had bid on this item particular, in particular. And so I bid on it so the poor person could sell it. I only bid $3, and I won it. It was really cool. Let me get back a little bit first. It's really funky, fun mosaic. And I'll get a little bit closer so you can kind of see it up close. It's like a really abstract. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but, or how old it is. It looks really well done. It's not messy or anything. I mean, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I guess that's the fun of art, though. It can be whatever you want it to be, whatever, however it speaks to you. Let me see what it says to me. Hmm. It almost looks like a hand kind of going like this. Doesn't it? What is it? Tell me what you think it looks like. It's kind of like this ink blots, you know, it's supposed to tell you, like, let me get the glare off. Or maybe it's upside down. Maybe we're supposed to look at it this way. Get the glare off there. What do you see? It's kind of cool, right? This is the back of it. I don't know. It doesn't really. There's no way to hang it. They didn't put anything on it to mount it, so it's gonna have to sit on a shelf or something. So I don't know, but it's cool. Um, I'm gonna work my way up to the thing that I'm really excited about. So just one second. This item, again, no one had bid on it, and I actually had seen it few weeks ago. I had a feeling that no one else was going to bid on it. So I got this whole box for $3. <laughs> Can you see it? It's a bunch of brass cradles. Well, this should be the thumbnail. Should it? Should it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I might go back later and figure it out, but I don't know how many are in here and I've not gone over them yet. So let's go over them together, shall we? Let's do. All right. So there's oh, kids are this one. I think this one is for glasses and then um, an ice bucket in the middle. I think. But it's got nice wood handles. Hello. So that's that one. So very fun. I love how they made Some of these are just made so nice in the, back in the day. Um, I'm pretty sure some of these are for Pyrex, but some I think are for Glass Bake or for Fire King, what have you. This one feels a little bit on the cheaper side. I don't think this was for Pyrex. It doesn't match the big oval, the 045, at all. So, you hearing thunder? Nothing, just the traffic. So there's that one. So I have no idea how many are even in here, so we'll count them together. That was three, this is two. I think this is for Pyrex. Because it looks like it would match it, but it looks almost too wide. Look at the nice wood handles, that's cool. Oh, it still has the candles in it. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, they actually used it. Half the time I see these cradles, and they're never used. But these are definitely use. That's three. Here's another nice one with wood handles. I think this is for Pyrex. I'm gonna have to double check. I'll have to Google later. But I'm pretty sure this is for the 043. Looks like there's a slight crack in the wood there. I can't tell. Like right. No, I don't know. So that one is four. Five, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight here. Whoa, this is huge. What is this sucker for? This looks newer. It's got like nice white handles. Oh, this thing is massive. I wonder what that's for. If you have any idea, please let me know. Save me some time and effort on, <laughs> on eBay. 
kind of fun. Very nice. My hair does not look nice. I'm not trying to be vain, but I don't want it to look, look unsightly. Oops, I'm spitting again. Sorry. I'm talking too much. This is definitely corning. I can see a big old square corning one in here. Actually, the other one might have been corning too. I'm not sure. Well, let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight in here. I got eight for three dollars. Very cool. And this one, I've seen this one before. I'm not sure where, to, to whom it belongs, so I will have to find, find, so I might just try and sell them locally, or I might just save them in my basement, and as I find little casserole dishes, it's kind of complete sets, I don't know, we'll see. This one, I'm pretty sure this is corning as well, I think these, these wooden handles that kind of pinch in the center here, I think this is corning because I think I've, I've had one like this before, I think there's a, a, a tray that sets in this, because it's really big, so. Not too bad, right? For three dollars. This is odd. I don't have no idea what this is for. It's kind of cool though. Right? I do want to click for these in the box. So just bear with me, it's just for a moment, because I have no place to put this box if I don't put them in here. Oh gosh. Stack, stack. <laughs> now whack myself in the face. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Um, I think this is the last thing from the auction, and then I have a couple little things I got from Walmart. Oh, one thing's from Kohl's. Um, just because they're kind of fun, and I just I want to show you. Anyway, um, the next thing I got was this set of bowls. Isn't that the full set? It's only three. Let's do this. I got the Amish butter print bowls. Like I said, just three, though, not all four. I'm really excited because I have to say the price that I got them for was a really good deal. And I honestly, I have to confess, I did not look over them before I bid on them. Um, I just, it was the day before. I'm like, I'll just bid a dollar more than the person in front of me. They'll probably come back and bid over me, but uh, what the heck, I'll take the chance. So I'm, I'm looking over them now just to make sure there's no crack your ship. I have no idea. Um, but that one's in really good condition. So, just for reference, the large bowl of this set, the 404, sells for between $125, $150. I got all three bowls for $41. <laughs> you know what's really funny, though? They described it as olive print. I, I won the, the bid, and I got the email, and the email said olive print. Like, like do they... Did I bid on the wrong thing? What? I'm like, well, wait a minute. There's no such thing as olive print Pyrex. Like, I'm like, what? How did they get Amish butter print and turn that into olive print? <laughs> it worked out in the end because even on the little card on the bowls in this in the the glass case that it was in said olive print. I didn't even see that. So, whatever. It worked out in the end. Ooh, this bowl's dirty though. I, I touched this bowl earlier and it's all greasy. It's been used. But I'm actually like, I'm going over these with you. So look at the paint, it's good. I'm really happy with the paint, it's shiny. Why is the dog barking? He's been barking nonstop for the past few days. I don't, he's healthy, he's fine, he's not sick. I don't know what his deal is. Anyway, so that's good. So I got the 401, that's the smallest one. The 401 is a one and a half pint. This is the 403, so that's cool. And that's the two and a half quarts. I can never remember, I remember the numbered bowls, but I don't remember how much they hold. And then the last one. Which is really cool. I'm really happy with this. The big one. So very exciting. But yeah, look, look at the paint. Wow, that's nice. And I have to confess, I'm kind of hoping... I don't really collect this pattern. I know a lot of people do and a lot of people love this one. But I honestly am looking to complete my dot bowl set. So the largest one has green dots. Is this size. The 404, which is four quarts. Um... So I'm kind of hoping I can find somebody to trade this with me and hopefully, because the green dot bowl is roughly the same. The green dot bowl goes for a little bit more than this one. Um, but if someone's happy enough with the trade, I'm hoping I can trade it. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, for three bowls for $41, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. At the end of the day, if I just sell them and make some money or if I end up keeping them because the large bowl is hard to find. It really is. So, so exciting. All right, I'm moving on. I'm going to move on to a couple things that I got just at like, hold on a second. Just the logo department store, but they're just kind of fun. I just figured why not? I'm here showing stuff. Like I'm not strictly vintage, so it's why I didn't name my, my channel like Holly Lane Thrifting Flea Market. Ch I don't know, something corny like that. But um, I like being able to kind of do different things. So all that being said, I was at Kohl's the other day. 
and I got these really cute shoes. The reason I'm showing you these is because they remind me of Alice in Wonderland a little bit. They look like Vans, but they're not. But because they have like the checkered, the checkered uh, color on it, and or the checkered pattern, and then the purple so reminds me of Ch the Cheshire Cat. These were fourteen ninety, yeah, fourteen ninety nine. They were on sale. They were twenty four ninety nine. I got them for fourteen ninety nine, and it's what's the brand? I, oh, I don't know what the brand is. Um, I will say if you like these at all, if you order these online. If you're like, oh, I love those. I want to get those. Because they also had um, a cherry pattern one. They're black with little red cherries. So freaking cute. And it has like, the, I like the elastic on the bottom. So especially with summer coming up, you can just like slide your foot in and out like really easily. So these are just like slip-on sneakers, which I love, especially in the summertime. So, so cute. But these are size 10. I don't wear size 10. I wear size 9, 8 and a half, 8 sometimes depending on the brand. So if you're like, these are cute, I want them, get the next size up because the nines were way too tight. Like, my foot was like squeezing. You can see my toe like, like just like protruding on the side of the shoe. So I had to get a 10, but um, I'm happy with them though. Because the tag says 10. I really should make sure, check on the inside just to double check. So it had the size and I think it had the size in them. Oh, but it doesn't say in the bottom. Okay, it does say a 10. I don't wear size 10. My feet are not that big. Not that I'm judging big feet. I've set, my feet are big enough. They're size nine. So they're, you know, they're not tiny feet at all. Um, but I don't mind my feet. So, um, and then a quick show you these. They've kind of in the shot the whole time because I throw my clothes on this chair. Flip it over. We're all sitting there anyway. <laughs> I got these cute um, sundresses at Walmart. This I got. I wasn't sure if it's gonna fit me, so I just grabbed a size. Um, so these are both different sizes, but I'm gonna keep them both. Just well, I'll explain in a minute. But there's this cute dress. It's just very loose. It just hangs. I like the pattern. Look at the. It's really pretty. So I don't know if the material is. It feels like cotton, but I don't think it is. But I reason I got them is because I just I'm getting more and more to summer dresses. I'm not a dress fan. I don't like skirts or dresses. I hate them. In fact, <gasps> does that pockets? No way! Oh my gosh! I just knew that pockets because I looked. Oh, okay. Well, that that changes things even more. Um, anywho, it's got pockets, ladies. Anyway. But um, the thing is, it's, it's very much like a muumuu. So if you like a really flowy dress, if you know you're going to go out and eat a lot, but you don't want things cling <laughs> to you, I would recommend this dress. It's only like, it's, it's $17.98. I thought the other one was cheaper, though. Maybe not. And this is the other one that I got. This one's a little bit smaller um, because I tried this one on. It was, felt a little big. But even so, with it feeling a little big, even this one feels a little big, and it's the next size down. But it's so cute and it's so comfortable. It's got like little like fluttery sleeves and the pattern, the material is really cute. It is, it is somewhat light. So I think you might have to wear like a pair of shorts underneath or like a slip or something. Um, cause I think with these, the smaller size is shorter. So I'm probably going to wear like a pair of like comfy shorts underneath just for modesty, but it's really comfortable. And I'm actually going to use, let me quick show you. I don't have it with me. I don't have it handy. I won't show you now because I'm sure this is already pretty long. But I actually have a cute like lace type ribbon. Actually, it's like a crocheted like lacy ribbon. It's really long. I have it like in my box of ribbons. What I'm gonna do is actually tie it around my waist and cinch in the dress and just tie it behind me. Just kind of like kind of like a high waisted thing. And it it looks so much cuter that way. Even though it's kind of on the, like the moo side. Like it'd be cute if you were pregnant like as a shirt. Like just be adorable. But I got it just for, for summertime, and I can use a ribbon to cinch it in a little bit so it's not quite, like, you know, so it shows I have a little bit of a shape. But very excited about those. And actually, I think these will look cute with the purple sneakers that I got. So I'm, I'm feeling the summer vibes. Very excited. Okay, I think that's everything. I have talked your ear off enough. I think I've talked my ear off enough. <laughs> anyway, I know it's been a while since I, since I did a video, and I wanted to do this and just kind of show you the fun things that I got. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't talk to you fast, so hopefully you understood me. I hope you're all doing well, and uh, I should see you soon. I do have some videos I would like to do. I'm not committing to them because the second I commit to something, I don't want to do it anymore. So maybe at some point in time. <laughs> but I do plan to come back with some more videos. Hope you're well. Hope you're enjoying the weather. I will see you again next time. Bye.